hello guys welcome back to student future channel in today video i will guide you how to apply for anso scholarship 2025 in china this is the part two of this scholarship here we will apply for ucas university in the last video i talked about how to apply for usdc scholarship but in today video we will apply for ucas scholarship so you can apply for master and ph3 as well if we talk about ANSO scholarship benefits, the country is China where you are going to apply and the universities are USTC and UCAS. And the number of scholarships are 500, degree level, masters and PhD and the deadline to apply for this scholarship is 15 February 2025. So what is USTC and UCAS? USTC is University of Science and Technology of China and it is considered one of the top universities in China and Asia. And what is UCAS? This is the University of Chinese Academy of Sciences that is affiliated with Chinese Academy of Sciences. So both universities are best to apply for this scholarship. So I will suggest to apply in any of the one university where you found your department or your field, then it's good to apply for this scholarship. If we talk about the ANSS scholarship benefit for PhD program and master's program, Tuition fee is fully covered. You will get monthly stipend. For PhD program, it's 6,000 to 7,000 yuan. And for master's program, it's 3,000 Chinese yuan per month up to 36 months. And you will, and your health insurance will also be covered. There is no application fee. You will also get international travel allowances to move to other countries for business trips, for research purposes, and you will also get one-time visa or residence permit allowance within this scholarship. So this is the best scholarship to apply. Then scholarship requirements. You should have non-Chinese citizenship. Then a Applicant should be proficient in English or Chinese. For master's program, you should be born after 1st January 1995. And for PhD program, you should be born after 1st January 1990. And you should also meet the admission criteria for these two universities. And the important point is you cannot apply for these two universities simultaneously. You can only apply to any of these one universities. Either you apply for USTC University or you apply for UCAS University. So in the last video, I have discussed how to apply for USTC scholarship. But in today's video, I will guide you how to apply for UCAS University. The main thing for this university is you need your supervisor accept. Although it's optional, but it's best to have supervisor for this university. So after getting supervisor acceptance, you will get provisional acceptance form from the professor. This form is a supplementary part of application material. When submitting the application, if the applicant find a supervisor and got accepted, then the applicant upload the supervisor signed provisional acceptance form to the online application system so for this scholarship it's plus point to have supervisor acceptance now let's talk about how to apply for this scholarship this is the official website of this scholarship details i will add the link into the description you can directly open the website by clicking at the link from here you can get each and everything that i have discussed already with you so we are going to apply for UCAS scholarship. From here, you can check application material. If you are going to apply for UCAS scholarship, then click here at this link. Open it in new tab. And from here, you can check in each and every detail related to the scholarship. So when we will open this page, here you can see UCAS scholarship for international students 2024 call for application. Click at this link and open this into new tab and here you can see the details for this scholarship for UCAS so simply scroll down and you can read it as well here you can see the option of online application please log in to the online admission system for international students at UCAS here and follow its instruction to finish all the required application procedures file and submit your application in the system as requested before deadline 
यू हैव टू चूज यू सी ए एस स्कॉलरशिप फॉर इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट इन योर एप्लीकेशन सो रिमेंबर इट टू स्टार्ट योर एप्लीकेशन सिंपली क्लिक एट दिस ऑप्शन हेयर ओपन दिस इन टू न्यू टैप हेयर लॉग इन पेज विल बी ओपन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू क्रिएट अकाउंट सो फॉर दिस पर्पज हेयर यू कैन सी द ऑप्शन ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन क्लिक ऑन रजिस्ट्रेशन नो एड योर डिटेल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एड योर यूजर नेम so hey you can see please provide a valid email address so add your email address here then select a password that should be 6 to 16 characters password now enter this verification code as shown on screen now click on register congratulations you have successfully registered an account the system has sent an email with the activation code so open your email id so here you can see i have received the email open this translate into english and here you can see your activation code is this please log in to again to activate your account or click here to activate so you can click here to activate your account now your account is activated click on translate english first of all click on active account copy your activation code and paste it here and click on activate now you can see activation accomplished please log in now you have to log in enter your username again and now you have to enter your password click on log in now all right now you can see your login page okay so here you can see different options you can scroll down and you can see a lot of information from here so first of all here you can see please carefully read the following instructions and start your application procedure here you can see the steps to apply then click on i have read carefully also click on i have carefully read the above instructions now at the top you can see application tab click on select application admission application program okay so here you can see few If your PhD or master application is returned to edit please skip the select application program okay so here you have to select your program so you are regular visiting student or senior visiting student click on regular i hereby admit that i have read the card okay select all of these options click on confirm now enter your data first of all enter your gender information then contact information application preference then education background then you have to enter fund source then family members referees and contact in china okay so start your application first of all enter your family name then add your given name now you have to add your supporting document please upload your recent full face photo with 2 inch so here you have to click here and attach your picture you can click on browse and attach your picture from here click on upload next is you have to enter your chinese full name if you have otherwise leave it select your gender then enter your date of birth then select your place of birth enter your city name here then you have to select your country then select your nationality and from here you have to select your country then you have to select your passport then enter your passport number no enter the expiry date of the passport then you have to add your supporting document scan copy of the front page of your passport click on add document and browse click on upload click on upload no upload your cv next is you have to select your marital status then your religion then here you have to write your height then i am in good health select yes then you have to mark this option i have checked again and make sure then click on next page next is contact information no select your country again enter your province then enter your city name then you have to enter district then here you can enter road number house number zip code is important you have to add it then enter your mobile phone number then if you have fax you can add otherwise postal address if that uh, admission documents are to be posted so it is identical mark this one then it will be added itself now you have to add your email address it's very important now if you want to add your backup email address you can add otherwise click on next page next is application preference select type of student then select your teaching program if you want to choose chinese or english 
now you have to select your institute from here you have to select your department for example this one chemical physics then select your major then check your category and first level discipline then you have to add the details of your supervisor so here there are two options if you have any of these two options are supervisor then you have to select because these are related to this field so select your supervisor name from here then have you contact a potential supervisor to get provisional acceptance form if you have got acceptance letter then you have to select yes i have and you have to upload that paper if you have not contacted then you can select no i have not so here you have to select yes click on upload document and attach your provisional certificate next is do you agree to be arranged to a more suitable college or supervisor so here you can select yes i agree i no, no i do not agree i only want this professor okay so from here you have to select any option then you have to attach your motivational letter click on upload and attach your motivational letter so here you have to attach your motivational letter or research proposal if you have both these documents then you can make it a one document first of all write your motivational letter in one or two pages then add your research proposal in two or three pages make a pdf and then you can attach it next is studying period you have to add the date if you want otherwise it's optional then click on next page next is education background and working experience now you have to add your bachelor or master's degree details if you are applying for a phd so the highest degree for example you have master's degree then you have to enter university name then where it is located select country then you have to write obtaining date so when you receive your master's degree enter the date here no attach your highest degree certificate attach your master's degree certificate click on upload the certificate is written in chinese or english select yes now you have to attach your transcript of your highest degree click on add supporting document and now you have to add your transcript again select the transcript is written in chinese or english click on yes now you have to attach your bachelor's degree data now first of all add your beginning and ending date then select your degree now enter the full name of your university now select country where it is located now enter your major now you have to attach the certificate and transcript of your bachelor's degree after adding bachelor's transcript and degree scroll down and here you can see please choose your current occupation then select your country and here you have to enter the university name where you are studying then you have to add your working experience if you have any working experience then add the data otherwise scroll down and next is language skill now you have to add the language skill data for example enter your mother tongue then official language then if you have chinese proficiency then you can select any of these option if you have chinese le uh, hsk level test then you can enter the date when you finish this test then test score if not then you can add is english an official language or not then english proficiency if you have any of these tests select one select yes then enter the date of test enter the test score from here you can select any other languages as well now scroll down and next option is specialty or hobby so if you want to add your details related to hobby uh, were you one of the leaders in any student yes or no you can select any option so from here you can select any option in which you are good for example these two options next you have to add the data representative published paper if you have any published paper then you have to write the type of paper author ranking then title of paper then name of the journal when it is published volume page and then you have to upload the first page of the publication if you have then you can attach otherwise you can leave it click on next page next is font source this is very important now you have to choose the font source option 
so from here you have to choose ucas full scholarship for international student this option if you need full scholarship then you have to select this option if you uh, are eligible for partial scholarship then you have to select this option for me i am choosing this option if you want to study at self finance then you can select option from here otherwise you have to click on yes or no then click on next page so if you want only scholarship select no from here and click on next page next is family members data you have to enter the data of your family members relationship first of all father enter the name then select position then enter mobile phone number then email address is optional if you want to mark it as emergency contact then you can select this option if you want to add more data of your family members then click on here click and add more you can add one by one then contact in china if you have any person that is in china and you want to add the contact of that person then you can add the data otherwise leave it next the most of most important option is referee no you have to add the data of your referees so at least two referees are important now add the data of your professors or supervisors as a reference add their name then add their employer details then add the position then telephone number and email address email address is very important also add their official email address only then click on please upload recommendation letter so click on add upload file and add a recommendation letter from this professor now add the second referee details and add their email address it should also be official then add the recommendation letter from this professor if you want to add more than two referees then you can click on click and add more here you can see at least two referees who need to be experts or professors in the same research field and familiar with applicant next is others have you ever been placed or have you ever been placed on probation suspended select no do you have any illegal records select no have you ever been convicted any crime select no then the last option is save submit and here you have to click on submit when you will click on submit your application will be completed and it will be forwarded to the university for ucas scholarship so this is the procedure to apply for this scholarship if you have any kind of query or question related to this university or scholarship you can comment me i will be there to reply you so wish you very best of luck for this scholarship see you next video